A very common problem that I see uh, and deal with in the clinic is nasal obstruction or a blockage of the nose. And you know, that can be because of many different factors. It can be because of a deviated septum. It can be because of allergies and other you know, sinus issues. But one of the, one of the recently discovered um, causes of uh, nasal obstruction is something called nasal valve collapse. And what nasal valve collapse is, is uh, we found that there was a, a certain population of patients who had a septum in the middle, no other swelling, but still felt like they couldn't breathe through their nose. Oftentimes these patients get benefit from breathe right strips. And what we, what we discovered was that the side of the nose, if it's, if depending on each individual patient's anatomy, if it's unsupported, meaning the cartilage is a little bit uh, deficient or not slightly in the right place, the side of the nose can collapse in when you breathe. And so that's why it's called the dynamic valve collapse, where if you look at it, uh, it doesn't look collapsed, but then as soon as you breathe through the nose, the, si the sides fall in and then causes um, obstruction. Uh, traditionally, this was treated uh, with something called a batten graft or um, a septorhinoplasty, meaning uh, where we would, uh, under general anesthesia, kind of reposition some of those cartilages or place cartilage grafts, which uh, is very successful, but it is a, a more involved procedure requiring uh, you know some some recovery and and was just a you know not for everybody uh, but the new technology uh, is called Latera and what that is is it's a small implant uh, it's about the size of a, a small toothpick and it's it's made of an absorbable material uh, which we're able to place um, very comfortably under local anesthesia in the clinic uh, kind of in the side wall of the nose it doesn't change the appearance of the nose uh, but what it does is it actually provides support so that the side of the nose doesn't collapse in uh, when they breathe. The implant is absorbed over about a year's time, but it's replaced by scar. And the scar is stiffer than normal skin, normal kind of tissue there. And so even though the implant is temporary, the effects uh, are long lasting. Patients can really see if that's a problem for them by kind of pulling out their cheek a little bit and breathing and seeing if that helps. Also, as I mentioned, if patients have uh, success with breathe right strips, all the breathe right strip is doing is just supporting the nose so that it doesn't fall in. So both of those are way, uh, really good ways to tell if a patient might benefit from the Latera procedure.